Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about uh, roots of a polynomial. Okay, the polynomial is given 5x to the power 4 minus 4x plus 1 and we have to find how many roots are there of this equation inside the interval, inside this particular interval 0, 0, 1. Okay, so we have this interval 0, 1 and how many roots are there for this equation. So clearly since this is a 4 degree equation there are maximum counting multiplicity actually there are maximum four roots but how many are there inside this particular interval 0 1 it is not an easy uh, question to ask right there may be some roots outside this interval but uh, they are not important to us we want to count how many roots are there in between 0 and 1 okay this problem is extremely important for any uh, kind of uh, competitive math exam but this came in uh, WBPSC 2022 uh, this exam was for recruiting assistant professors. Okay, so this is a very recent problem and if you're liking the content uh, Please take a moment to like this video and of course subscribe our channel to learn more and more high quality mathematics Well, so the given polynomial is this we can just say this is px equal to 0 This is px equal to 0. Okay, and we have to count how we have to find how many roots of this polynomial are there inside between inside uh, 0 and 1 okay well so the problem is tricky actually you cannot solve this equation okay to find out all the four roots and then check which of them are there inside this interval 0 1 okay first of all this you cannot solve in an exam hall or even outside exam hall you cannot solve for x without a calculator or something okay so this is not very easy to find out all the roots so then if we cannot find the roots we have to use some trick to actually find which roots are there inside the interval 0 and 1 well so if this is px we have to first check we want to just check what is p0 okay and what is p1 these are the exim points right 0 and 1 so p0 if you put 0 here you will see that it is just 1 1 and P1 if you put 1 it will be 2 so somewhere here 2 okay so then in between the graph may be like this okay or maybe like this or may just come here and touch and then go okay or it can come down and then go right here you have to understand the interplay between graph of a function and roots or graph of a polynomial and their roots in general so suppose you are given one interval okay uh, any interval and this is the positive x-axis this is the x-axis if if anything if the graph is like this then how many zeros are there how to count actually the zeros are the intersection points with the x-axis okay one two and three so for this function or polynomial there are three uh, zeros or three roots actually you can say okay so if this is fx if this is fx then fx has three zero which means at this value of x at this value of x fx is zero at this value of x fx is zero and at this value of x fx is zero that is the interval between graph and its zeros so now our function is just a polynomial function right not sin s cos x or anything complicated this is just a polynomial function and therefore we have written px and if the graph of this first of all polynomial is a continuous function so the graph will be like this or even it is differentiable so graphs uh, may look like this okay in this case suppose the graph is like this then there is no zero right because this is the x-axis this is the positive x-axis and it is not cutting anywhere this uh, this graph is not touching so it has no zeros right if this is the graph if this is the graph also there is no zero right if this is the graph if it is just touching here then it has only one zero right it is only and now the if the graph is this then there are two zeros okay there are two zero but one can have uh, one can have other things like this 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 like this okay so suppose this is zero uh, sorry this is two because p one is two and this is one okay so how many zeros one two three four five six okay but since this is a four degree polynomial we cannot have six zeros okay we can have maximum uh, at most four zeros but anyway first we will try to 
so I to try to differentiate this and find the critical points. Why? Because for any bend like this, here the tangent is horizontal, right? So at this point, I'll use another color. At this point, p dash x must be zero. At this point, p dash x must be zero. Similarly, here, 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 which are the local maximum and in minimum. There, p dash x must be zero because the tangent at this point are horizontal. So, okay. This is a important fact, but this is well known. Actually, this is an easy fact. This is well known, okay. But this is extremely important. So, therefore, we want to find the critical points of Px, and from there we will know where it is bending or not, okay. So, if this is Px, okay, what is P dash x? What is P dash x? So, this is Px. So, what is P dash x? P dash x is 20x cube minus 4 right and we want to solve this for uh, 0 so therefore x will be uh, 1 over 5 whole power 1 third right so you can just write 1 over 5 power 1 third okay so this is the critical point actually and this is the only critical point there is no other root okay so this is the cube root of 4 by 20 which is 1 over 5 and this is this. So basically there are other roots, other two roots, but they are complex root, which are this 5, 1, this omega and 1 over 5 power 1 by 3 omega square. But these are complex roots. So the only real root is this. Now the question is whether this x, this critical point, okay, I will just encircle it. This is the critical point we found. But whether this critical point is inside 0 and 1, that will actually give, give us the answer. So we have to check whether this is, this is of course bigger than 0, this is a positive number, but whether it is less than 1, 1 over 5, 2 over 1, 3, anyway. So 5, just, just follow here, 5, I am writing this number, 5 to the 1, 3, right? This is actually bigger than 1. Why? Because 5 is bigger than 1, right? If 5 is bigger than 1, you take the cube root, so 5 to the cube root and 1 cube root is 1. So, 5 to the 1 by 3 is 1. And therefore, if you take this to this side, it becomes 1 less than 1 over 5 to the 1 3. So, it is clear that this point 1 over 5 to the 1 by 3, which is the critical point for P, okay, is actually inside 0 and 1. This is less than 1 and of course, this is bigger than 0, there is no doubt. So, this number is somewhere in between 0 and 1, okay. So, let us go to the next slide. So, we have 0, 1 interval, 0, 1 interval, right? And somewhere x equal to uh, x equal to 5, 1 over 5 power 1 by 3, right? So, suppose this is the point, this is this point, okay? So, this is the critical point and therefore, the graph will have, this is the only critical point, right? So, the graph will have either a maxima or a minima. If you want to do a second derivative and check at this point whether it is maximum or minimum, that is okay. But without even doing that, we can actually answer the question, okay. So we will not check the uh, second derivative whether it is maximum or minimum, okay. Since this is a critical point, either, so first it will start at 1 because P0 is 1 and it will end at 2 because P1 is 2, right. So since this is critical point, it can be, it can have like maximum value here some maximum at this point or one minimum here at this point, okay, maxima or minima. Now it can just touch here and give the minima. So it is touching here, okay, and then minimum. And it could also be like this, okay, this and exactly at this point it is minimum and then going up, okay. So this is the minimum. Since this is a critical point, I will write here. So either it will give maxima or a minima of this form or a minimum of this form, so touching point or a minimum going below the x-axis, okay. And since there is only one critical point, x equal to 1 by 5 over 1, 3, actually there is no other bend. There can be, there cannot be two bends like this, okay, because then the, it will have two critical points. Since there is only, only one critical point, these are the only possibilities, okay. So, there will not be any more bends anywhere, okay. So, now 
in this case in this case there is no zero in this case also there is no zero now we have to check whether it is this case or this case okay and for that you have to actually find the value p at the critical point 1 over uh, 5 to the power 1 by 3 you have to just check this if this is 0 then it is the case right if it is negative then it is the case right okay let us check what was the polynomial so 5x to the 4 minus 4x plus 1 right so 5x to the 4 right so 1 by 5 1 3 whole to the power 4 minus 4 times 1 by 5 1 by 3 right so 5 x to the 4 minus 4 x and then plus 1 plus 1 okay so if if you calculate it will be 5 into 1 by 5 to the power to the power 4 it is 4 by 3 right minus 4 times 1 by 5 1 over 3 1 over 3 plus 1 okay this is just simple calculation so this is 5 to the 1 and this is 5 to the 4 by 3 right so it will be 5 to the 1 minus 4 by 3 minus 4 into 1 by 5 1 third plus 1 this is 1 okay so I will write this calculation here somewhere okay so it will give you this will give you 5 minus 1 by 3 right which is nothing which is nothing but 1 by 1 by 5 to the 1 by 3 right 5 to the 1 by 3 and then minus 4 by 5 to the 1 by 3 and then plus 1 right so again this is uh, 1 by 5 by 3 minus 4 by 5 so it, it will give you minus 3 it will give you minus 3 by 5 to the 1 over 3 plus 1 now the question is whether this number is positive or negative so for that you have to check whether this number is bigger than 1 or less than 1 right it is bigger than 1 or less than 1 so you know that 27 is bigger than 5 right this is true and therefore if you take cube root you will get 3 here and here you will get 5 to the 1 by 3 5 to the 1 by 3 right taking cube root taking 1 over 3 right so this is okay then 3 by 5 1 over 3 so taking this to this side it will give you some value bigger than 1 right so 3 by 5 to n bigger than 1 so this term is bigger than 1 okay but there is a minus here okay so this is actually something bigger than 1 but minus with minus therefore this sum will be less than 0 because this is bigger than 1 but with, but with a negative sign so this will be less than 0 so it is not equal to 0 it is less than 0 so at this point at the critical point this point right at the critical point here so this was the critical point okay at that point the value is negative which means this is the actual correct case right now if this is the case how many zeros are there zeros are here and here because there will be only one bend like this which will take the function to the negative side and then will go up right so there will be one intersection here with the x-axis and another intersection here right so there will be two zeros there will be two zeros inside the interval 0 and 1 and 2 was also there in on in the options given so 2 is actually the correct answer okay and this is important so this is the x-axis so this is important and this kind of problem may be uh, asked in the interviews also so actually this is a concept based problem and this is very interesting and at the same time it is important okay that's all in this video and i i thank you for watching